Good morning. Live from Brooklyn, it's the Marcus Conti Show. So I want to uh, preface this with a bit of a background. Uh, um, so, in the early 90s, right, I used to, um, I used to be a fortune teller. Right? It's documented. You can read my, uh, I wrote a book in the late 90s about uh, using psychic phenomena to outwit the stock market. I did, and but before that, I was a uh, a psychic, um, a nightclub psychic. I worked at uh, Webster Hall, and I used to read fortunes for the hipsters. I sit down at the table. You come to the nightclub. I tell you fortune. Now, you know, psychic. I, I I'm not here to tell you that psychic phenomena is real or fake or any of those things. But what I am telling you is that. The art of the psychic reading. It it um, first there's there's a little bit of talent involved, but a lot of it is learned. The ability to see a situation over and over again, and then be able to formulate a response to someone in a way that is helpful to them. You know, for example, there's only three things people will ask: love, health, wealth. Right? You know, and and if someone is asking you about a a health question and they're visually impaired, you can make prophecy to help them clear up those problems. Now here's the deal, right? I'm making a prophecy right now, November 6th, and it's it's based on the facts. Like the you know, Saint Alex <laughs> Saint <laughs> Saint Alex Jones, the the holy info wars has <laughs> They made him into a martyr, right? right? Infowars got cut off, right? And um, he made the prophecy. He said that that we're likely to see another big event. He called it a big event. I'll call it what it is, a false flag. Leading up to November 6th election. Why? Because the, the mainstream media has completely lost the narrative. Even this last incident. But don't don't mistake it. Don't mistake a, 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 a debacle of a story, right? A mistake as losing control. Because the oligarchy and the mainstream media with the arm of the mainstream media and all the paid for politicians are still clearly 100% in control. Don't kid yourself. Because your opinions don't matter, really. They don't give a shit. They don't care that you know that Alex Jones got cut off line as part of a oligarchical conspiracy to silence opposing voices. They don't care that you know that because they still have the, the Hillary Clinton, you know, the, the, the very, very deeply gaslighted left that watch Rachel Maddow and watch Chris Hayes and, you know, and, and Wolf Blitzer and believe that it's actual news when it's, when it's really just secondhand propaganda. The mainstream media is no longer, this is the real type of media right now because it's one person unabashed telling you with his feelers on the ground. Where mainstream media now is just, it's rich people reading on a, reading, in, reading off a teleprompter. They're reading what they're told to read. So that's not, it's not accurate news anymore. So the, the the prophecy when I, I just want to get back to my my experience as a psychic in in 2000 um, in 2000 I, I released a book called The Psychic Investor and that's when 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 books when published author when you said you were a published author it actually mattered now it's incidental you know it's it's, it's insignificant anybody can publish a book on on Amazon call themselves a published author but at the time that was it was a big deal. I was on Channel 9. I was on, you know, I was all over the... I was more famous than I am now. <laughs> so, and uh, so, so anyway, so... So what, what, do I, what am I trying to say? That am I a powerful psychic? Am I a, 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 a gifted medium, really? Is that what I really am? And I'm in, you know, I've been in disguise the whole time and that's what I'm trying to say? No, not, not really. What I am trying to say is that for example, when I used the psychic, my psychic impressions of people, and I pointed that at the stock market, I was able to predict stock market direction with fairly, fairly 
uh, impressive accuracy. Right? And also, I was able to I was able to see how the market behavior of the market, greed, how buying and selling in the markets influenced political events. Right? I was able to see that. Right? And leading up to the 2000, I, I in in my book, The Psychic Investor, I talked about the leading up to the the 9/11 event. Right? I, I mean, I said it. I said that that uh, you know at that time that that there, there hadn't been there hadn't been major um, there hadn't been a major terrorist attack or event on U.S. soil. And in 2000, you know, at 9/11 when it happened, suddenly I was a fucking genius and a rock star, right? Because I saw it um, as a psychic, just psychic medium, right? Online. Um, so, what, what I'm trying to say is this: that the that the next the next event, right? That's the that's the way of distraction, right? People are so so, you know. So, hold on a second. <laughs> I get conscious when I'm talking. People get people are are uh, very wrapped up right now in themselves, and because uh, the economy doesn't work, people are on food stamps, people are on. They, people don't have jobs. They're 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 fearful if they do have a job that that the the system is set up in a way that they they're pressured to overwork and that they might lose that job. And so there's a lot of fear and a lot of doubt and a lot of uh, angst in the world, right? A lot of confusion right now. And it's not it's not uncommon. It's all times are like that. But this one is exceptional. And the way the way to grab the attention, grab the um, to, to, to control the narrative, as Noam Chomsky always says, to manuf manufacture consent, right, for the big move, right? So things like censoring Alex Jones, censoring, you know, ch chopping people down online in a public forum, minimizing them, right? And saying that there's, you know, some kind of uh, violation of, of speech, right? We still haven't, with Alex Jones, we still haven't actually heard the actual um, hate speech that he spoke. The only hate speech that is different from what he said and anybody else is saying is that he was specific at pointing to false flags. False flags, that's all, that was the hate speech. That he said that it's likely that Sandy Hook, Parkland, Las Vegas, and Seth Rich are likely events designed to distract people from the real from the root cause which is oligarchy sticking their hand in your pocket and taking your money right. so the next big flag is coming and as always I want to make the point that that dear Trump supporters in 2016 we told you that oligarchy was the problem that the root cause was corporations politicians taking money from corporations and doing their bidding and not our bidding that 90% of, of politicians favor the corporate opinion and, and uh, to, the, to the tune of 90%. So if you think that this 2018 midterm election, if you think winning is getting the Republican Party, of all fucking people, the Republican Party, the slimy Republican Party, as, as a victory to defeat, like Trump is a Republican, Trump's no Republican. If you think that's a victory, then you're, you're playing right into the hands of the oligarchy. You're playing right into their hands because both, all the politicians, it's no longer Republican, Democrat. It's all, it's a single, it's a single entity. It's a single, a single entity. I'm having a hard time finding open space today. It's, it's one big fucking party, fucking you, right? Right? And we told you this in 2016, when, you, when Bernie Sanders was, was, was destroying Hillary Clinton in the primaries and the mainstream media was twisting it the other direction, right? you were busy calling Sanders a socialist and, 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 and Trump, is the, Trump is the hero. But what is Trump? Trump is, is, is an extension of the failed economic policies that we've been warning you about all along. 
So what I what I hope what I hope that comes out of these talks is that the merging of the smart left, the um, the economically minded left, and the the animate patriot patriotic Trump supporters, because we are the same. We're both we're both patriotic. However, our vision is panning out and yours is failing badly, bigly. And it's not Trump's fault. Trump is incidental. If Trump gets another four years, that's fine. It doesn't matter. But what we have, because Trump is not an ideologue. Trump will go along with, what, with the people. Right? That's what Trump is. Trump has no real opinion of anything. He's He's here and there and he's, you know, that's how he survives. That's how he wins, right? So, so what am I trying to say? False flag, right? What, what will it look like? What will the next one look like? Will it be big? Will it be a series of small? Because once it happens, right, all of the mainstream media brings the attention to that event. And then in, two th in, in November 6, they sweep the election, they sweep in all the crooked politicians. Repla all the incumbents get reelected. And it goes shh, silent, silently, stealthily. They get all their politicians in place, right? That's what they want to do right now, right? Get all the, all the crooked politicians in. They don't, want to, they don't want you talking about... Look, all we want is universal single-payer health care. Right? This is, these, are, these are easy things to do. Single payer universal health care. Free college tuition at city and state universities. Right? How do you do it? 100% election integrity. Right? Hand count ballots. Right? That's how you do it. Right? Decrease the military spending by 80%. Take away the arms from these corporations that are raping the country. Right? Tax them. Easy. How easy is that? Right? But you have Senate and Congress who have to approve it, right? The president can't do it. We can't do it. Our representatives can do it. And what do they do? They just passed a, a tax bill that gave corporations carte blanche to fuck over the whole country. They got 14% on. They got 14% more of what they don't pay. They pay zero. Apple, Google, Facebook. These corporations don't pay shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They give us some supplies. They give us, like, I'm using a, an Apple phone and, you know, posting on YouTube, Google, right? But, but look, it doesn't mean you own us because you provide a service. It doesn't mean that that your opinion is above our opinion. These corporations are blown out of proportion, and now it's the big power grab. Don't think for a second that they're not in control. Don't be fooled to think that you're in control and they're not in control. So they don't give a shit about your opinion. Right? They don't care about that. They'll crush and crush, use the courts to crush you. No more courts. No more juris, juris, judicial. Right? So anyway, my name is Marcus Conti. Psychic medium. What else am I? Investigative journalist, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.